All right, peace to the family, peace to the tribe. This is Brother Yusuf. I'm back with another video. Um, you know, I've been away for a minute, taking care of things. I know some of y'all been wanting live streams. You know, I haven't just been in a place where I could just really chill with y'all in a live stream. You know, <clears throat> I'm an introvert. You know what I mean? I'm a very uh, keep to myself type of person. And if I'm going to chill with y'all on a live stream and just chop it up and talk, I got to be in a mood. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. You know, answer a lot of questions and everything. But, you know, there's more live streams coming. So, you know, for now, I'm just going to do a video. You know, um, I was going to make this into a live stream. Maybe we'll do a, um, a part two on a live stream. Maybe. You know, but I want to I want to get on here tonight and talk about something um, that, you know, um, for the past month, I've been getting a lot of emails about um, people been inboxing me on Instagram about it. Um, and that's fear. Okay. Um, a lot of people have been, um, contacting me about fear. How do they overcome fear? How do they, how do they get past fear? And, you know, fear is something that's very important to overcome, you know, because fear is that thing. If you want to be an effective magician, you're going to have to get past fear because fear is that thing that you have to learn how to overcome. All right. It's that thing that you got to learn how to overcome. So, um, you know, so in order to do that, you know, you got to face it, you got to face your fear. All right. So we're going to, we're going to get into that. You know, we're going to get into that. Um, I'm going to give you some guys, some tips. I'm going to give you guys some tips that you can, um, you know, use to help overcome your fears, right? Because it is very imperative, very important that you overcome these things. If you're going to be, if you're going to do magic, because a lot of y'all really, it's funny because, <laughs> you know, you know, I've seen a lot spiritually, you know what I mean? Some things I could tell that people can't understand, they don't understand it, or they just don't believe that shit. And these are spiritual people, right? They just don't believe that, you know, that's why I don't just come out with all these incredible pictures, right? Which I could show, by the way. Um, I come out with the small pictures, you know, snap a picture of a fire looking like a bird and light above my head and stuff. I, I give y'all small stuff because I I ain't a fool, you know, I know that. People watch my channel hardcore and some people, even though they spiritual, they just stuck, right? A lot of y'all stuck in one, in one place spiritually and you just can't get past a certain level, right? You think some of y'all think that spirituality got only to do with black people, you know, black people is an important part in spirituality, but it ain't all about us. Um, and it took me years to get past that because I used to be heavy, hardcore, black conscious. Any of my friends know that heavy, hardcore, black conscious. And I and I still love the black conscious community, right? Because we had some amazing teachers. But our brother Yusef is not black consciousness. I'm conscious, period point, period point blank. I'm just awake. I don't put a label on my what, what I'm awake on. Because when you do that, you limit yourself. When you put labels on things, you limit yourself. But I understand that the level of consciousness that some people is at, they can't get past, they can't get past, um, you know, putting labels on things. They think they need labels. And sometimes you might, you know, you might need a label to get to another level consciously or spiritually. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is, you know, you got to learn how to get past that, get past these labels. And I'm not talking about what you call yourself, right? Cause that's needed sometimes to take yourself to the next level. I'm talking about it. From a putting your putting your a, a label on yourself as far as what you really are, you know, you're more than a black conscious person. You're more than a light worker, right? You're more than a new age person. You're more than that. You just don't understand it yet. So I understand that people need to call brother Yusuf an occultist. People need to call me a metaphysician. You know, which I prefer. I prefer people just to call me a metaphysician. Then you got some people who deal with left and right hand path stuff. So I say, hey, call me a middle pathor. You know, because it's really nothing I don't study. I study it all, right? And I understand it all from different perspectives. And, and my level of understanding on it is beyond um, labels that people put stuff on, you know? So I'm able to understand it from a level that doesn't, I don't choose sides. So I can look at the whole picture, you know, the way it needs to be looked at, you know? And <clears throat> some people just not ready to do that, right? And a lot of this is because of fear, right? Which is what we're going to get into. Sometimes as you grow consciously, your your humanity, your ego is not ready to give up on you. 
right? It wants you to stay human. So what the ego does is when you become conscious and spiritual, it ties you back down to something physical, something in the physical world. And it makes you take your spirituality and be connected to that. And some of y'all people that's stuck in the new age community, some of y'all people that's stuck in the black conscious community, um, you need to listen to this because some people are stuck. And I'm brother Yusuf is trying to teach y'all that it's, it's be all this stuff is fake. It don't, it don't even exist. You know, and, and if you really look at it on a deeper level, it's really fear. That you're dealing with you're dealing with fear because you're afraid to move past what you think you are right and you need to have no limit to what you are you're more than just a black conscious person and that only talk about melanin and everything connected to melanin that's true but it's beyond that and i'm telling y'all the truth so some of y'all may be wondering well why can't i do fire magic effectively why can't i see fairies right I, brother you stuff don't see angels demons fairies uh ghosts goblins you name it right i don't see it at all um, I don't see it all, but it's funny because when I was black consciousness, I didn't see a lot of that stuff. It wasn't until I let my mind go totally free and just say, yo, what it is, what it is, right? It is what it is. Um, there's white fairies, there's black fairies, there's fairies that got red skin. I've seen those. There's fairies that got blue skin, right? Um, I've seen transparent fairies. So it, it, I mean, it, it all is, it, it's on different levels, right? So what I'm trying to say here is y'all need to overcome fear, right? A lot of y'all need to overcome fear. You need to get past fear. And, you know, some people say fear is false evidence appearing real. But on a deeper metaphysical level, fear is really false energy or fake energy appearing real. That's really what it is. Because when you break everything down to its most simplest form, you're always going to come back to energy, Right. So if you don't call fear anything, call it a certain level of energy, but it's an energy that's so vibrating on such a low level, it really don't even exist. And it's a way for your humanity, your ego, you know, brother Bobby Hammond broke it down what the ego is. It's the part of you that think it's real. And that's a hundred percent true. It's your, it's your humanity. So if your name is John or Mary or, you know, or Keisha or uh, Sasha, whatever your name is. Jermaine, that is not you. That's just what your family, that's the name your family gave you. You are more than that, right? You have God names, you have dragon names, you have uh, um, uh, son names. You have all kinds of spiritual names that you have different families on. Don't limit yourself to just being black or being white or, you know, being this. Now, some people, <clears throat> now, once your conscience gets to a certain level, you know, you can tie yourself back to something for the sake of being alive in this world, right? Some of us, you know, even though we're spiritual, you can't be so spiritually high until you know earthly good is what I'm saying. So you got to find that perfect balance in between. So even though I'm telling y'all to stop calling yourself black consciousness, what I'm really saying is there's nothing wrong with being in the black community or the, uh, you know, the new age community. Go for it. Be in it, right? Just don't get caught in it is what I'm saying. Don't get caught up in a new age community. Don't get caught up in a black conscious community. Be a part of it. Don't get caught up in it. Don't let it take over your mind. Like Brother Yusuf considers himself indigenous. And I am. And I can, I can prove that. You know, but I don't get caught up in the indigenous thing where I'm arguing back and forth with people. I'm defending people that I think is indigenous is not indigenous. I don't get caught up in all that stuff. I am what I am. I am who I am. And I, and I, go, and I go from that point and I move forward. Right? And I do what I need to do in the physical world to protect my family. I really use my indigenous thing to protect my family. That's what it's for. You know, it's for my daughter. So when she gets older, she'll have a foundation to stand on, a strong foundation. You know, um, I showed y'all my investments. I buy silver and gold and all this stuff. That's all for my baby girl. That's for that's my daughter. That's for my grandchildren, right? Because I'll be a fool to leave this world and not leave nothing behind. Now that go for any father out there that have children. You got to leave something behind for your children. You know, um, it's funny because I was watching Black Panther again the other day. Good movie, you know. And the king told T'Challa, he said, look, a man who hasn't prepared. He said, have I not prepared you for my death all my life? And he's like, yes, you have. He said, well, a man who, was, who hasn't prepared his children for his death is not fit to be a king. Or he's not a man or something like that, he said. I said, damn, that's true. That's 100% true, you know. I, as my daughter gets older, I'm not going to say, baby, I'm going to die. Baby, I'm going to die. I'm going to tell her to understand that one day I'm not going to be here. 
and take all the information and knowledge that I give you, I'm giving you. And I go for the mothers too. You know, if you're a single mother and you're raising your children, do leave some things behind for them. You know, if you can purchase a home, if you can uh, purchase some assets that you can leave behind for your children, do that and, and still be spiritual. Find that balance, right? Don't get caught up in that stuff is what Brother Yusuf saying. So if you want to be black consciousness, if you want to be new age, go for it, right? Be part of that community. Don't get caught up in it. Don't let it go to your head is what Brother Yusuf saying. Because when you get caught up in it, you're trying to hold on to it. And when you hold on to things, you try to possess it, you're really afraid of it, right? You can't truly love something when you possess it. You know, uh, the great um, teacher Osha said, you know, I watch a lot of his videos. He said, if you love a flower, don't pick it up, let it be. Because as soon as you pick that flower up, you, you just you just uh, took away what it really is. You know, he said, life is not about possession. It's about admiring and living in the moment and enjoying what it is. Stop trying to pick up a flower all the time and take it home and take it with you. Stop trying to possess it. Let the flower be and enjoy the beauty of what it is. But a lot of times we have that issue. We want to possess things because we're afraid of losing it. You see how everything goes back to fear? So a lot of y'all is afraid of losing things that has to do with your own ego, with your own humanity. Let that shit go. Right? Let that shit go. Once you let it go, um, you got to really face that thing, right? A lot of y'all fear because y'all don't really know what fear is. Fear is not real, right? You must confront that thing. You must take possession of it, right? You know, when I when I walked what people consider the left-hand path, the reason why I was so good at it, the magic of it, was because I looked inside myself and I, man, I got a monster living inside of me. I'm just going to keep it real, right? That's why I'm always calm and cool because if I ever get turned up, somebody's going to get hurt, right? And, and let that be a warning for y'all uh, trolls. I know trolls going to be out there. It don't get me as upset, but a lot of people say smart comments. And, I, you know, I don't care if people disagree. Disagree all you want, right? But some people disagree with a level of disrespect, you know, and Brother Yusuf not one of the people that's going to be a YouTube gangster and be on here going back and forth with you up. Just know that if I ever had a problem with somebody, I might address it once. And then I'm going to ask you the second time, do we really got a problem? Right. And then we could proceed from there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of person I get hyped up and I'm going to yell at you and scream at you. And, you know, you bitch and all that. I'm not about to type all that back and forth. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to know if it's a problem. If we got a problem, then we can proceed from there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to be a YouTube gangster. I'm not about to tell you what I'm going to do to you. You know, and all that stuff. I'm just going to, you know, I just need to know. If you just like to talk shit, then I'm going to delete you. But if you really got a problem with me and I keep seeing you on my live streams of different things, then I, I got to ask you. I'm just that type of person. I need to know that we got a problem. And if we, you know, you know if we do, we, we can proceed from there, you know. But, you know, just the one that's the loudest one in the room is really the, the, the one that's not really about nothing. You know, so sometimes, you know, a lot of y'all trolls, who I know a lot of y'all is government agents. You know, I astral projected one time and I went into, I, I, <clears throat> I actually flew and went to this warehouse. And it was like in the middle of nowhere. In the warehouse, y'all, this is 100% true. In the warehouse, they had like maybe 70, 80 people all lined up with computers pretending to be other people on social media. And they their job was to keep keep the vision. So they were going to a lot of black conscious groups. They were going to uh, new age community groups. They were going to like vegan groups and they would like start shit and talk to spiritual channels. <clears throat> and I'm walking around. They don't see me, but I see them. I'm walking and there's every race in there. Indian, black, white, Chinese, Asian, like you, everybody, Native American people. It's everybody was in there pretending to be other people working for the government. Um, I don't know what city this was in, but I know now that it's true that some people are just government agents. But even them, you you know, even though you're working for the government and you're getting on the channel, you got to be careful, you know, who, you, who you're talking to. You know, I'll tell y'all a story. There was this guy on YouTube about maybe five or six years ago, you know, and a lot of people subscribe to his channel. And he was really funny. I'm not going to say his name. Cause he passed away now, you know, but you know, he was real funny and you know, you know, a Pacific person used to go on his channel 
and comment and and you know say things and one particular day he saw what a person said you know um you know and it was just some advice to the person and it, the guy took it way overboard he started calling the person a bitch and you know disrespecting the person I'm talking about for days, right? Days on. He just doing like four or five, six videos, kept egging on this person, right? And the person that he was talking to, you know, I knew the person. <laughs> I knew the person, right? And I'm like, man, he need to leave that person alone because I know that person get busy. You know, I know what they get down with. But the dude kept being disrespectful. You know what? What ended up happening was, um, what ended up happening was. All of a sudden, the dude got really sick, you know? He had a, a disease or some kind of problem that even the doctors didn't know what was wrong with him, you know? They didn't know what was wrong with him. They couldn't help him. <clears throat> he had a friend of his that was, uh, you know, uh, you know, in, in, in medical school. And he used to come over and, like, give him, like, different medicine and IVs and stuff like that and, you know, try to help him. And one particular night, his, while his friend was helping him, I don't know what happened. The friend died, you know what I mean? On his couch. You know, friend gave him some medicine. He fell asleep that night. He woke up next morning and his friend was still on the couch. He thinking his friend overslept. He went to go wake up his friend. His friend died. His friend was dead. His best friend that he knew since he was a kid, he died. And the dude got on the video crying, saying, uh, you know, my whole world's falling apart. I don't know what's happening. But I knew what was happening. He said the wrong shit to somebody. You know, he said the wrong shit with somebody. So, to somebody, you know, and, you know, people like that are very ignorant because they, they think that nothing can happen to them, especially if they don't got a, uh, you know, a picture up, you know, they feel like they can talk crazy out of their mouth, or even if they work for the government, everybody can get touched, right? You got to be careful who you're talking to, you know, and it's always going to be that person that you got to be careful that, that, that warn you one time, or they warn you in a, in a coded way, you know, you got to be careful because everybody ain't nice. They just appear nice. They respect the hell out of people, but they they appear nice. And you're going to say the wrong thing to that person, and they're going to not be in the mood for that day, and they're going to fuck you up. Like, period, point blank. You know, you, your mama might get it. You know, your brother, they might fuck everybody up. So, I just got to be honest. So, and this all going into fear. So, you got to be careful what you say to people. You just can't get on YouTube and say shit to people. I keep telling people that, man. Some people right now to this day is learning the hard way, you know, and then they go back years later. Oh, my God, I remember I said this to this person. Maybe that's why I'm sick. And they don't never get it right away because life is a joke to them. Everything's a joke. You know, they're vegans and they're they're uh, maybe they work out in the gym or, you know, they think everything is a game. And this innocent looking person who look like a church boy, you know, he look innocent like he won't do nothing to nobody. That's really the most dangerous person. Right. This dude don't face his demons. He don't dealt with some shit. He don't. Did a lot of things he can't even talk about. And you want to fuck with him? You want to mess with this person? It's a bad decision, man. You know? Be careful of those people that's that, that's always quiet. They're the most dangerous ones. Even street dudes know that. The one that's the quiet dude in the back. He the hit man. You know what I'm saying? The quiet dude in the back that's just observing everything. He not getting turned up. But the dude that's always walking around. Yeah, man, I do this and you this. And he ain't about to do nothing. Except talk, you know? So... You know, a lot of y'all trolls that get on my channel, you know, you gotta, you gotta be careful, man. I'm not saying it because you bother me because there's really nothing a person, no, there's no word. And that's the fact. There's no word that a person could say to me that brother Yusuf going to get upset, you know, but I'm about respect because I respect people, you know, respect me. I respect you, you know, um, I don't mind people disagreeing with me. People disagree with me all the time. Right. And, but it's like people disagree, then they get disrespectful. And, you know, you got to be careful with that because you won't, next thing you know, you're trying to call somebody else to get something off of you, you know, that you forgot, totally forgot that you said this shit to this person two or three months ago. And you wonder why your life's so fucked up. You know, you wonder why you're sick and what's going on. You know, you don't say the wrong shit. That's why people who come to me for, they got hexes and curses on them. Brother, you stuff ain't no fool. I know why you got a hex and curse on you. You know, people who got hexes and curses on them, they always want to assume that they was the innocent person. Oh, I didn't do nothing to nobody. But people just don't hex you for no reason. That's rare, man. 99% of the hexes that's on a person is the shit they put on themselves because they was running their mouth 
They messed with somebody's boyfriend, messed with somebody's girlfriend, or they did somebody really wrong and they got hexed. It's a fact. So people who come to me with hexes, they've been hexed. They need help. I ain't no fool. I know what that is, right? You know, everybody ain't innocent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, and if I ever talked on the phone with you, I could read your energy. I know what, who you really are. So, <clears throat> just wanted to put that out there. You know, y'all got to be careful who y'all talk about. You know, y'all got to be really careful who y'all talk about, you know. But, you know, when you're dealing with fear, you know, you need to deal with the reality of um, what you're dealing with don't even exist. It's coming from your humanity. It's your ego, right? It's coming from your ego. And you need to understand that this fear that you're dealing with is something that don't belong to you. your soul doesn't know fear, right? Your soul doesn't know fear. Fear comes from your DNA from down the line, your, your ancestors. Um, it comes from um, a past life experience that you dealt with that you remember, right? But the soul is not damaged by it. The soul just experienced it, but it's not something that's actually happening to the soul. The soul can only experience it through the body, right? The soul doesn't know fear. But it can experience it. It's just like putting on a video game headset and you get killed in the video game. Somebody hit you with a, you know, an axe in a video game. It's not, it didn't really happen to you, but you experienced it. You experienced that fear. That's the best way I can explain it. But it's not happening to you, right? It's not happening to you. So that's what y'all need to understand. So the best way for that y'all need to understand to overcome fear is you guys need to understand that. The fear that you're dealing with, first of all, it ain't real. It don't exist, right? It don't exist. And you can't you can't run from your fears, right? You cannot run from your fears. You got to face them. You need to face whatever it is. So let's say that you're afraid of swimming. You're afraid of drowning, right? You can't be afraid of drowning. Let's take something that's more serious, right? Because if you're afraid of drowning, you're afraid of drowning, right? But we're going to we're going to take we're going to talk about something that's going to be really, uh, Spirit, we're going to take it from a spiritual perspective, right? So let's say you're afraid of ghosts, right? And being afraid of ghosts is something that a lot of people are afraid of, right? But, but let's be honest. Why are you afraid of a ghost, right? You're afraid of a ghost because you, you, you're you ignorant to what it is. You don't understand what a ghost is. So anybody who really understands ghosts know that ghosts will make a scary face or they'll like run around in a room real fast or they'll do something, but they only do it to scare you, right? When you understand the science of being a fear, you release a bunch of what they call yang energy, right? Or, yin, excuse me, you, re, you release a bunch, of, a bunch of yin energy, right? Uh, when you when you feel fear. And the ghosts, they eat that energy. Uh, that yin energy um, becomes really dense and, and uh, really thick. And it's like it's like being on drugs to the to the uh, spirit. They like they suck it up like drugs. Um, they feed off of that shit. Um, a lot of them do to just to survive, actually, because they're not getting no more energy no other way, right? They maybe they're not attached to a person. If they're attached to a person, they can make a person do things that that person don't want to do: drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, um, you know, uh, have sex with random people. It can make you do a lot of things, and they'll they'll eat that way. They'll get energy that way. But if they're if they're let's say somebody lived in the house for 35, 40 years and they die and they don't want to let go of their house. And that spirit is still in the house where it may do things to make you afraid. So how is that spirit going to survive without fading away? It's going to feed off of fear, right? And the fear that it's going to get is by making you scared when you sleep at night. Somebody knocking on the wall and you see things in the dark. But anybody that ever dealt with ghosts need to notice this, right? A ghost on a regular level would just scare the living shit out of you, right? A ghost that's been around for a long time could probably make, can probably make you feel, right? It could probably touch you. Or grab you, right? But you don't hear about ghosts throwing people out the window. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't hear about ghosts killing people, right? And I know it's that one person, yeah, ghosts killed my mama, so, you know, some shit like that. But nine nine times out of ten, right? A ghost ain't killing nobody, right? But what it does is it scares people to the point of insanity, right? Some ghosts have driven people mad. The thing you need to understand is that instead of being afraid of the ghosts, you need to research, study what ghosts are. And learn how to defend yourself. That's how you get over fear. You get over fear by stop being ignorant. You're only afraid because you're ignorant. And I'm not saying that disrespectfully. I'm saying you're ignorant, meaning that you don't understand, you don't know. If you under if you want to get stop being afraid of certain things, you know, I would like I was gonna say swimming. Study, study swimming, study what swimming is. 
once you study what swimming is, once you study what swimming is, um, start learning how to swim and overcome that fear, right? If you're afraid of flying, um, you need to get an airplane to fly. If you're like the so say you become a Fortune 500 company person and you you got a business that's booming and you need to start flying, right? You need to, you need to get to different cities real quick, but you're afraid to fly. Well, you're going to risk your whole business of not being able to make it to a meetings and appointments because you won't fly. You better get your ass on that plane and fly and face that fear. You just can't stay stuck there and say, oh, that's not what I like doing. That's not where I can't be. Well, you're never going to grow. You're never going to evolve. Fear is there to teach you a lesson. It is there to push you. It is that pressure that is there to push you so that you will force, you will be forced to go to the next level. That's a fact. I grew up Christian. Pentecostal, you know, I had to face a lot of fear when I became metaphysical, dealing with demons and angels and what I thought what, what I thought an angel was, dealing with other gods. The first god I ever prayed to was the god Anubis, the god of the underworld. You know what I'm saying? But I did it because I faced my fear. I got past it. I didn't know who Anubis really was, but he helped me, right? And I was sincere about it, like I told y'all in that video, uh, dealing with my video with my cousin from the, who I, who uh, I helped in the underworld. So. Um, or I think the video is called my experience with my family in the afterlife. So, you know, that's how y'all get past fear. It's really, it's really, that's what it is. There's no, I could go on and on about different ways you can do things and do this and do that. Fear is about understanding what you're afraid of, right? Understanding secondly, that I'm ignorant. And that's why I really, I'm afraid of it. You know, another example, a bully, right? Somebody messing with you every day. You think that this person is tough. You don't know until you fight them. You've seen them fight. You don't know how tough you are until you fight them. You need to face this person. Nine times out of ten, when you face a bully, they ain't going to bother you no more. Even if you get your ass whooped, even if you lose, right? You know, nine times out of ten, that person ain't going to bother you no more. Right? Because they respect you now. Right? They understand you, you, And you understand. Now the next bully that bothers you, you're ready to fight because you understand, like, oh, all, all I really need to do is face this thing. Right? That goes the same thing with the government. That goes the same thing with spirits and, and your people at your job. Whoever's bothering you, whatever's bothering you, right? Some of y'all is afraid to do certain spells because you're afraid of what you might see dealing with spirits. You're afraid that you might see a, 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 a demon or a, a fairy. Some of y'all want to see these spiritual things happen, but even something as simple as a fire turning into a bird, will, people will run out of the room. And you, you know, you want to be spiritual. You need to understand that you need to face this stuff. You need to put this shit right in your face. I promise y'all, I promise, I promise it will not kill you. All right, brother, you yourself done called on demons, angels, everything. It has not killed me. You understand? That's what I want y'all to understand. When you face these fears, you're going to be like, oh my God, I should have done this a long time ago. You know, uh, some of y'all trying to start businesses. Stop being afraid and just do it. Some of y'all, which are, a lot of people uh, talk to me on, on, on uh, consultations, you know, and I'll be probably be starting conversation back up in January uh, 2020, most likely. Um, some of y'all want to start YouTube channels, right? You're talking to a person right here that people put down. People never thought I was. Yeah, I was never a talker, you know. And like I told y'all in the video, in one of my old videos, my own teacher told my mama I wouldn't really amount to nothing in life. She would have to hold my hand through life, you know, because I was so introverted as a child, you know. Um. And to this day, I love being, I'm a hermit. I like being home, you know, um, and I'm, I'm the epitome of don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I'm the epitome of that because of all the incredible things I could tell people that I'm working on and I'm doing that I don't tell people. I keep to myself, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, like, um, I forgot totally what I was saying. <laughs> you know, that happens sometimes. But, you know, all this comes from facing, you know, um, um, dealing with fear. Oh, that's what I want to say. Um, you know, I, I, overcame, I overcame all those things, didn't care to what people say, didn't under, didn't listen to what people said, and I overcame my fear, right? So so this video is to encourage people. Whatever you're afraid of doing, starting a business, you're afraid to be in love again, right? Maybe somebody broke your heart. Um, these are all tests for you. You need to understand fear is nothing but something that is there to put pressure on you so that you will push past it. You will push past it. Um, when 50 Cent said the word, get, get rich or die trying, he really was talking about facing his fears. 
right? Because if you're a dude in the street and you sell drugs and you don't know no other way to get rich, um, you know, you want to face your fear, right? That's the only way you're going to get rich or you're going to die trying, right? So some people really feel like they're going to die trying to do something and you're not going to die, right? You're not going to die. You just got to face it, right? So I hope this video really encourage y'all. I want to get on here and just do this video, encourage y'all. And tell y'all it's good, all right? So, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all need to face y'all fears. Get over this stuff. Stop being ignorant. Study what you're afraid of. That's what you need to do. Study what you're afraid of and get over the fear. All right? All right? This is a quick video. We'll go deeper into it in a live stream. Um, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching my channel. Brother Yusef is out. Peace, family.